and welcome to my vlog. I decided to do this vlog uh, to help those people that are wanting to go through osseo integration and have loads of questions like I had and just basically wanted to know honestly uh, from a person going through it what happens, uh, the good and the bad. Um, hopefully it's all going to be good. Um, also um, I'll give you costs, uh, a running cost from start to finish, um, helpful hints, maps, anything that will really help you uh, uh, get through the osseo and uh, hopefully we'll get through this together. Now uh, a bit of background uh, about myself, um, I was in a road traffic accident uh, five years ago, I was cycling to work and basically an arctic lorry came and knocked me down, took me under my wheel and basically mangled my left leg and uh, crushed my right foot. Um, they, it was basically destroyed at the scene, see some pictures. Yes. Um, if you want to see more graphic pictures and different stages of my recovery, uh, you can go to my uh, blog, which is susie.unsworth at blogspot.com, my left leg. There's a link below. Um, that basically charts from when I had my accident right up to current date of all my emotions, what I've gone through, um, different operations. I've had 15 to date. Yeah, 15. Um, I'm also an ambassador for Minster Law, which is the law firm that um, helped me out after my accident and helped me with my claim and everything. Um, I'm, um, so there's a link below to uh, their website if you have any injury claims that you want to um, pursue. Um, but there's also the reason why uh, I'm an ambassador is because um, I helped put together, um, well, gave the idea of a central hub website um, that you can go to uh, for people that uh, just need um, stuff, uh, advice uh, about uh, maybe claiming, um, not only that but um, where to buy things, um, helpful uh, maps of places you can go in with wheelchairs and stuff like that. It gives a link to a, another guy's uh, website which is really useful about travelling in a wheelchair and disability access. Um, there's notice boards that sell um, spare, material, um, spare wheelchairs, uh, crutches, anything you can think of. It's just a really helpful hub for a person that's disabled and that link's below as well. So, let's get down to it. What is Osseo? Um, you're probably watching this because you already know what Osseo is, you just want some more information. Uh, but basically, it's having a metal rod put into your femur bone and then the pin that's usually on the outside of your grey liner will now be attached to that pin and your leg will be then clipped on to the bottom of that so it gets rid of the socket and the belt if you have a belt okay um, there's a series of operations um, here's a picture and basically um, you will go through having this operation um, I thought it would take two years to do um, but after speaking with uh, the people in Germany, um, it only takes um, two months, not two years. So like, ooh. Uh, so that's why I decided to go ahead with it. Um, another reason why I've decided to go ahead with uh, osseo integration um, is because I feel it's the next step um, on my um, leg journey. Um, I've gone through having the NHS leg uh, which is the pin with a foot on the end. 
and then I had a hydraulic leg um, see pictures and then um, I went to Pace and I got an X3 um, which was like a genium and that's got a microprocessor in the leg and you actually have an app on your phone and you can tell it that I want to run, I want to cycle, uh, stuff like that. I haven't had a chance to do any of those things with it, it's also waterproof, uh, because of the problems I keep having. Now my leg is, my injury is cone shaped, picture. Yes, it looks like Freddy Krueger's penis. But anyway, um, the I kept having, uh, I keep having uh, neuromas, which are basically internal blisters on the end of your leg, uh, because um, I kept pressing on it when I walk, which irritating it, and also getting cysts as well. Um, so I keep having every year to go back to uh, the NHS hospital and having these cysts removed which means that I have to go have the operation and back in my pram aka my wheelchair and um, then I heal and then I have get a walk for a bit maybe if I'm lucky three to six months and then I get another neuroma and then I'm back in hospital again um, so this operation if successful um, you put the weight through your bone like you naturally should and there will be no pressure on the end and the neuromas won't build up. So once I've had this done um, it should get rid of the socket which is that upside down traffic cone that we have at the top of our leg uh, that basically feels like you're sitting on a brick sometimes um, also causes chafing underneath your bum and um, that horrible grey liner that clings to your leg, uh, that slightest bit of sweat slides off and um, and basically it should be, if it goes well, it should be sorted. Um, these vlogs won't be regular, uh, they're just basically when something happens and I want to tell you something. If you've got any questions just put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Okay, so stage one of how on earth do I get osseo? So I went to my um, plastic surgeon, uh, which was Dr. Uh, Donald Dewar. He's at Leeds uh, Royal Infirmary. And um, I had a outpatient appointment with him because of a recent neuroma um, operation so I took the opportunity to basically sit down with him and say look I want to pursue osseointegration and he said yep fine um, I will look into it for you and let you know. Uh, four weeks later I still hadn't heard anything uh, which is not his fault, he's a very busy man being an NHS uh, plastic surgeon um, and I had another appointment with him, a final review with him so I basically used that as a chase up and um, managed to get in to see him and um, in the meantime I'd spoken to my prosthetist at Pace and uh, he said that um, you need to speak to um, either a guy in Australia, a guy in uh, Sweden um, or uh, a guy in Germany. Uh, that is the only places that they do it and uh, it's private as well. Uh, unfortunately they don't do this on the NHS yet. Um, so I had a choice of either a 10 hour flight, expensive Sweden or Germany which was two hours away from me. I'm in the UK by the way. Um, so I went right okay um, get me in contact with uh, the German uh, doctor. So uh, 
he wrote off an email. In the meantime, I went back to my outpatient appointment with my um, NHS uh, plastic surgeon and um, I got an email from the German um, osseo doctor. Uh, he needed pictures of my leg. He also needed x-rays. Um, so this is something that you will have to um, get prior to contacting him, which would be, be quicker. Um, just make an appointment with your doctor um, to get some x-rays done if you haven't already got them. And um, anyway, I went and saw him, uh, asked for these x-rays because I'd recently got them anyway after having this operation, which was lucky, and some MRIs. And um, he emailed those all to me. I forwarded them on to uh, the osseo doctor, which was Dr. Um, Horst Osvig. I think I've got that correct. And um, then I just waited for a reply. Now, he really, really good at replying. Uh, it was almost uh, next day, every day sort of communication. And um, answered any questions that I had. And... Um, he was happy with the x-rays and things I'd sent him and it was just a case of right when do you want to come and see me for a consultation because there's only so much you can do over Skype um, which by the way you can talk over Skype um, it, it gives, you, gives you his Skype address as well and um, the English is great it's a little bit broken but it's fine there's no problem there and um, so I booked to go to uh, Germany. Um, never been to Germany before. I've only ever been to uh, Florida and France, and that's it. Um, so basically, took my phrase book and um, absolutely panicking, booked my flight. 